Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today we're gonna make some spice blends. Most of mine are gone. So I did an order on uh, Walmart's pickup and got some more spices, but then I went through my spice cabinet. Yeah, probably should have did that before I order, but not a problem. I go through a lot of spices. Anyway, we're gonna use up a lot of what I already have open and then I'll have others to use up. Um, I didn't, I don't, I'm not completely out of taco, but I'll make more. So what I do is I make my own blend and what it avoids is sugar fillers and starches. So a, tripic, a typical taco seasoning will have sugar, but it also has a cornstarch or some type of a soy wheat based starch that will thicken it. I don't need that and it just adds carbs. Same thing with onion soup. It has um, sugar in it, but it also has like beef bouillon, which is full of sugar and starches. So my onion soup mix does not have beef in it. If you are okay with a little sugar and some starches and things in your life, if you're not doing keto, you can get crystallized beef bouillon and add it, and then you wouldn't need to add a beef stock. I just typically add, usually I use my onion soup for beef roasts and things, so I'm already kind of getting that beefy flavor, or I will add a beef stock or soup base, base you know, homemade, fresh type stuff. So there's that. My ranch, we're almost out of ranch as well, so we're gonna mix up that. And then I make a zesty Italian. It's my regular Italian with lemon pepper in it. So let's turn around. I will show you, and I will try to remember to put these recipes. I just found a lot of this on Pinterest, um, and then I tweak it to my own. But I have my recipes, I have my containers and all my spices, and I'm having some Calm, which is magnesium citrate. It's a supplement. This is watermelon flavor. I really like it. Um, so as being on keto, I seem to lack some magnesium in my diet or my body doesn't hold. I'm not really sure what the deal is with the magnesium, but I started getting foot cramps and I realized I had stopped my supplements of magnesium. So nothing like waking up in the middle of the night with an arch cramp. Be gentle. If you buy this calm, which I think I've showed it in an eye herb haul, it's great. Don't drink it all day. It's a natural, it, can, it could have laxative effects. So just be careful. One serving is really what you need a day. Or just, I take magnesium supplements too, but I don't have any right now, so I'll take that. All right, let's make some spice blends. Sorry for the angle, but we're gonna do this backwards. So our first blend on my list is taco seasoning and it calls for chili powder and you want to check your ingredients this is just ground chili pepper ground cumin uh, ground oregano garlic powder garlic powder and salt so there's nothing offensive in that so I need some chili powder more cumin which I love cumin guys onion powder garlic powder celery salt which I couldn't find but I had some so that's good Oh, I need to grab my black pepper and my salt. So give me one second. Okay, got them all. Now, here's another reason to make your own spice blends. If you're on a low sodium diet, you could substitute the celery salt for celery powder um, and kind of eliminate a lot of the added salts in these recipes. Okay, well, Lori. I'll be running the vacuum later, apparently. So I just have a, these are just mason jars. And this, like I said, has some in it, but we're gonna make a double batch of this. So it calls for two tablespoons of chili powder. Now I feel like you can get either low sodium chili powder or just make your own chili powder and then turn it into taco seasoning, right? So there's, this recipe is for one. There's two tablespoons and I'm gonna double it. Three tablespoons and four tablespoons of the chili powder. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then we're gonna need four tablespoons of cumin. I love cumin. 
I love it. Now, when cooking with this, on the back of a chili powder recipe or a taco seasoning pack, it tells you to mix it with water. You don't want to do that with this. All right. There's all the cumin. Okay. Now, there's a lot in here. So, what I like to do is just mix it into a jar here, and I will stir it up and then pour it in with my little tiny whisk. There we go. Okay, and then we need four teaspoons onion powder. So yeah, you could totally um, do this. Now, like I was saying, there's no starch in here as far as like a thickening agent and a lot of your powdered packets do. So they call for water. In this situation, I dry, I dry, I drain my, um, my meat of most of its fat four tablespoons of garlic powder. And then I um, put in my seasoning and then I add in a couple tablespoons of water just to make a little bit of a sauce. It doesn't get thick like um, a packet of seasoning would. Okay, two teaspoons of celery salt. So we need four of that. And I may have a little extra of this. And if that is the case, I just put it in another jar when I'm done here. Not a big deal. Or a zip baggie, we'll keep it in. And this is celery salt. And then I have cayenne around here somewhere. Cayenne. So what's funny is I ordered a lot of this stuff because I couldn't find it. I just need to, this calls for a half a teaspoon and we're doubling it. So we're going to do one teaspoon of cayenne. And here's a place, if you like your spicy, add more. I mean, it's not a big deal what you add. And a teaspoon of black pepper and a teaspoon of salt. I use pink Himalayan, pink Himalayan sea salt because it has minerals in it. And then a teaspoon of the black pepper. And again, add as much as you like. I really like black pepper. I'm adding a little extra. And then you just mix it up. And you wanna mix it really good. And any recipe that I come across for different spice blends, if it calls for sugar, I either omit it, or if it should be a sweet blend, like a barbecue, I will put in um, substitute in some of my sweetener, like my monk fruit or something. You just want to not add as much to it. Now, I could get out a funnel, but I don't know where it is. So we'll just do this. And then I will fill this up. And then whatever's left, I could even make a jar and gift it to somebody for like Christmas. These would make great Christmas gifts. All right. Perfect. And we have plenty of taco seasoning to last. And this will last months in my cabinet. Let me put this in a baggie and I'll be right back. Okay, time for some ranch. Now, I think I will try a doubling this recipe as well. And let's hope for the best, shall we? This one calls for two tablespoons of dried parsley. This is also a good way to use up stuff that you buy that you don't use individually, but you definitely use packets of stuff, which is what I do. I didn't quite get it in there. There you go. Two tablespoons of parsley, two teaspoons of dill. Now I know I didn't have dill, so I had to buy some. I also put dill in my deviled eggs. How fun is that? Um, let's get this open. And this we need four, no, yes. I need two more teaspoons. Did I do that right? No, I did not double my parsley. Guys, yeah, I think that That'll be good right there. We'll just finish that off in there. Okay, back to the dill weed. We need four teaspoons of dill. I love dill, guys. Okay, maybe we should stop spilling stuff. And 
And there's our four teaspoons of dill weed. In the summer, I love fresh. All right, garlic powder. Four of these. I think I made too much again, guys. What do you think? We're gonna see two teaspoons of onion flakes, and I don't have onion flakes. And that's just minced onion. This is great too, because it rehydrates when you're cooking it. Um, and it kind of absorbs a little bit of the liquids in your food, but it brings an intense onion flavor, especially for like your crock pot meals, things of that nature. So I need four teaspoons of that. Uh-oh, I may be over full again. <laughs> it's all good. Onion flakes, teaspoon of black pepper. We'll do just the two, because I've overflowed it. Teaspoon of chive. I know I had chive. Thyme and lemon pepper. Chives, two teaspoons. We're gonna have to stir this into a container again. And two teaspoons of salt. I think we'll be okay with this one. Let's do two teaspoons. And again, if you're anti-salt or you don't eat salt in your diet or you're trying to watch your salt intake, you are controlling anything and everything that goes in here. The one thing about this recipe, I should get out my food grinder, like my spice grinder, and really grind this all together. The lighter stuff, the green tends to float to the surface. So you wanna, you know, give it a good shake before you portion it out. But it's really good. Now, because these are all dry, you know, when you're using them, you wanna put them in a the container or your liquid if you're mixing them in, let's say a dip. You wanna put it in and let them sit for an hour or two. And then I just always give them a good shake. So there's our ranch. Next up is Italian. I am totally out of Italian, guys. I'm definitely dub doubling this one. Two tablespoons of garlic powder. This one I'm making zesty, so I'm adding the lemon. Um, lemon pepper to it, because I want some zest. Just a couple teaspoons typically is what I add. Oh, I need four of you. And if you're like me and love the garlic, just throw it all in there. Four, ooh, we need eight tablespoons of onion. It's a good thing I got some extra onion now, isn't it? Onion powder. I need eight tablespoons of this. Ooh, that's a lot. One, two, three. Four, five, and a half. And then um, later today, I'm making a turkey. So what I'm gonna do is when I'm done here, I'm gonna take some seasonings, and I'll bring it along on my vlog today, but I'm gonna take seasonings I'm gonna mix them with some softened butter and then um, let it sit so everything kind of comes together before I rub it underneath. All right, there's five or six, seven, eight. Woo wee, that's a lot of onion, guys. Eight tablespoons, two and a half tablespoons of dried oregano. So this is making a lot more than I thought. So we'll go with five tablespoons of dried oregano. Two, three, four, 
five of oregano, four tablespoons of dried parsley. All right, and then I'll just move this, oops. And I was having a hard time going into the store finding my spices. One, two, three, four. And that was parsley, four tablespoons of salt. A lot of salt guys but you also don't use all of you know you don't salt your food especially if you're salting if you know your spices have this much sodium in it but they do this is really good on a on a roast I'll tell you that um, a tablespoon of pepper Which is funny that it only calls for a tablespoon. And that's fine because I'm adding some lemon pepper to it to give it that zest. And then two teaspoons. It calls for celery flakes. I don't have celery flakes. But what I have is coriander, which is just as good. So one second. All right, we're going to use two teaspoons of ground coriander. It definitely has a similar taste to a celery flake. I just couldn't find celery flakes. And I don't want to add more salt to this. And this also kind of helps with the zestiness of it. I'm not sure which one. I think it's this one. All right. And then I'm going to add some lemon pepper, which has, you know, obviously the zestiness to it. I'm going to add two teaspoons of lemon pepper, which is great. And then we're gonna stir all this up. I'm gonna fill my jar and then my zip bag. And then when I see my niece, Sarah, I will give her these packets of seasonings. She is a vegetarian, so she'll eat these. There's no meat in them and she can mix them and cook with the spices. So that is my Italian seasoning blend that I make a little on the zesty side, just with the, um, the addition of that lemon. Uh, pepper. There we go. Let's just fill her up. And then we have one left to do. And like I said, this is really, really good on like a pot roast. Chicken. All the things. All the things, guys. There we go. And there is our extra of the Italian. Put that over there. The last, ooh, we got a lot of empty containers, which is good, right? That's what I was hoping for. And then I definitely will use these blends more than I use the individual seasonings. The last thing we're gonna make is our onion soup mix. And I am doubling this because I use it a lot and I will put it and keep it there. So I need my onion flakes back out again. Where'd I put them? That's onion powder. This is not the one that was open. Minced onion, four tablespoons, so we need eight. And again, I can give this to Sarah because I'm not putting the meat in it. Two, three, four, five, Seven, and then need one more tablespoon. Now this is the recipe that calls for the two tablespoons of beef bouillon, which I will not be putting in because of the sugars and the starches and things. Um, but feel free to go ahead and add it to your own if that's something that you enjoy. And the last. Alrighty, two tablespoons of beef bouillon, we're not doing that. One teaspoon onion powder. So two teaspoons of the onion powder. Oh wait, did I do enough? Is that eight tablespoons? 
I don't know. I guess. Well, I think so. I better count it. It was. How quickly my memory goes. All right, two teaspoons onion powder. There we go. So we need four. Girl, we're doubling here. Get it together. I have caught, I've got quarantine on, quarantine head. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. Do I need that? Yeah. So it is a good thing that I went and grabbed all my spices at the store because as I thought, I'm running out of some things and if I already had it, that's fine. Uh, two teaspoons of garlic powder. Which means we do four. How are you guys doing during this COVID quarantine? Everybody else want a little stir crazy too? Two teaspoons. Oh. Well, I added a little extra garlic to mine. Two teaspoons of parsley. And we need some celery salt. Um teaspoon of some celery salt and then a half teaspoon of black pepper and that's it this all may fit in my jar we will see if it will fit and that's it and I just emptied out a bunch of my spices that I love but don't seem to grab for I definitely know I will use these actually so that's good and again you just want to grind it up stir it up and fill our last jar and then I will clean this mess up and I will show you the finished products after I oh oh yeah come on Yes, I got it in there. <laughs> there you go. Onion soup. We'll be back. All right, here we go. So we have our zesty Italian taco, extra taco, ranch. Look at all that green. And onion soup mix with extra to share of the zesty Italian. So there we have it. Super fast, super fun, and using up things that I have around the house that need to get used and things that I will reach to time and time again. So I hope you enjoy.